when you connect a car stereo system or an audio device to your car, it is connected to the car battery. The negative pin will be connected to the car chassis and the positive pin goes to the car battery through a fuse. The car battery is charged by the alternator of the car which is working like a dynamo. Car alternator generates high amp airage and it is an alternative current. When you accelerate your vehicle, the alternator gives a good and strong power to the car. However, due to this power generator, it makes a magnetic field. This magnetic field caused for a noise come through car audio device. If you have the same issue, you can watch this video to solve that problem. If so, stay with set and fix. In order to build this project, you need two diodes. The diodes must be at least 10 amps. Because the diode can limit the current as there are limitation of flowing current through the diodes. And you need a coil with ferrite rod. You can grab it from an old computer power supply. And the important part is 6800U 63 volt capacitor. Since this is a practical project, you must check the parts before assembling. You can check coils and diodes using continuity tester of the multimeter. The coil is working well. But I think this diode is not functioning properly. Because the reading of multimeter should not be for both side of the diode. We have to get a new one. After all the parts are tested, you can build this project watching this video. Take the 6800 UV capacitor and connect one end of the coil to the positive side of the capacitor. Then connect the cathode of a diode to the other end of the coil. Take the other diode and connect the anode of the diode to the negative pin of the capacitor. You see, how simple it is. This is the way of connecting this unit to the car audio. Now take wire from the positive pin of the capacitor to the positive pin of your car audio device and, give ground wire of the car audio device to the negative pin of the capacitor.
Non-connected pins of both diodes are the power in pins. Give positive voltage to the first diode of its anode which is connected to the coil. And, ground the cathode of second diode which is connected to the negative pin of the capacitor. If the wiring parts is over and checked again and confirmed, start the engine. You will and the engine noise is gone. If you this this video is helpful, share this to see other as well, and do not forget to like, and subscribe my channel. Stay with set and fix.